Hello, so this is the sixth video in the uh, FLTK uh, Rust uh, tutorials. Uh, this time we'll be creating a uh, media player uh, which basically embeds a uh, VLC window using the VLC crate. So uh, let's... Uh, I've already uh, imported uh, the FLTK dependency and this is the VLC crate. Uh, we'll be taking this and uh, copy. So my uh, laptop basically died uh, last night, the other laptop, the Windows laptop, or basically the cable uh, got broken and uh, I'm now working on a VM, so I'm not used to the uh, key bindings here, so uh, just uh, cargo run. <coughs> okay. So it's a uh, light dependency, actually, uh, VLC, uh, since it basically just depends on libc and uh, links, dynamically links to libvlc. So we've actually uh, installed uh, libvlc, so it's uh, sudo apt-get install. It has to be libvlc dev. Oops, install. So it's already installed. So uh, the basic idea of uh, this app <coughs> is to basically pass a... Uh, to be able to embed a window inside an FLTK application, you basically create another FLTK window and pass it... Uh, pass that window's handle, raw handle, to libvlc. So uh, we'll see how this is done. So we use uh, FLTK, fn main. So... Uh, just our usual boilerplate code. Defaults. Team. TK. Main one. So this is the application window, and we'll keep it to ourselves. So uh, let's say 100. Under apps, hundred. Let's give it eight hundred, six hundred, and we'll call it uh, media player. And main, main, and main, main shell. So this is our normal boilerplate code to create a window. So now, <coughs> basically, oops, we need to create another window here. So let's call it, for example, the LC window. Um, that, so this actually needs to be mutable. Let mute VLC one window. And we'll give it uh, five uh, pixels from the border. We won't be creating a uh, menu bar, but you can create a menu bar and actually load files using the an open button in the menu bar. I've actually just I have a video here that uh, I want to play, so that's basically it. So we'll say we'll give it a border of five five and eight hundred, so seven ninety, so five from each border. And uh, sorry. <coughs> and if we wanted a play and a stop button uh, at the bottom of the app, so let's say 500. And let's see how this looks. So VLC one and VLC. And actually, since this is an embedded window, we don't need to call the show on it. So uh, let's save this, uh, just give it a whirl, cargo run. Okay, so this is our media player. Uh, <coughs> let us say now, uh, we'll create an instance of uh, VLC. So uh, if you check the... Uh, okay. So we'll take this, copy, hope this copies, 
and uh, coffee. Good. So we don't need this. We have our own event loop, and we have our own main. And, uh, good. So uh, we're creating an instance. We just import everything from VLC. And actually, uh, VLC supports uh, passing the uh, special command line arguments uh, through the uh, interface. And I think uh, this is also available uh, through the uh, crate itself. So the path uh, to the file will be <coughs> video and v4, which is this video. And the media player that we're instantiating uh, using the instance and we're setting the media player uh, the media of the media player so uh, we actually we'll, we'll actually use buttons to play and in and stop so uh, let's just uh, okay so let's create two buttons here <coughs> button let's say play new and uh, 400 so we have two buttons so 320 510 we'll see how this looks and uh, 80 40 and let's say play you can also give images to buttons so uh, so notice that the button is actually within the main window not the VLC window so uh, We'll create the other uh, button here. So uh, we'll see. So this will be the stop. And let's call it stop. So just check how this looks. <coughs> uh, yeah. So this needs to be at 400. Okay, maybe a bit lower, and so we can see the VLC window. Let's give it a color, for for example. So VLC when set color color black. Okay, so maybe a bit lower, uh, the window itself, the main window can be also a bit shorter. So uh, let's say here, or 550, and 560, so this will be uh, just uh, next to the edge. <clears throat> okay, we'll give it maybe 55. 55, so there's a uh, like 5 pixels from the edge. So I think this should be okay. So now, actually, uh, we won't be playing through the uh, command line. We actually want to play uh, in our VLC one that we've instantiated here. So, uh, the uh, VLC actually has a method uh, called uh, set when, the VLC media player set when. So, uh, actually, the documentation here is a bit uh, sparse, so uh, just uh, bear with me a bit. So, control F, set X window, okay. So we can pass a uh, the XID of our window, which is basically the raw handle uh, on X11, which uh, through FLTK gives us a U, uh, I think 64. Uh, for macOS, uh, for example, you can pass uh, an NS object set NS object here, and for uh, Windows, you need to set the H1. So uh, we're basically for now uh, just uh, uh, 
programming for uh, Linux, this is a Linux VM, you can use a conditional compilation using if, uh, config, uh, etc., uh, target OS, or using the, uh, the, oops, and so, <coughs> the uh, hash method, the config, uh, target OS, etc. But uh, to keep it simple, we'll just uh, use the uh, uh, we'll program for Linux for the moment. So that handle equals uh, take the VLC one uh, handle. So this uh, so we'll call it drawable like uh, the application uh, in the uh, VLC crate. So this takes a U32 since VLTK returns a uh, raw handle. And uh, just check things here. Uh, okay, so it's called the handle. And then we'll pass it to uh, the media player. So MDP set X window and uh, the drawable. Okay. And to be able to play it, so uh, let's create a uh, let's handle the events now. <clears throat> so we'll create a uh, sender receiver and we'll handle the events in the uh, uh, event loop. So uh, up, uh, so uh, let's pass a ball for now. Uh, well, let's create our message struct since. Uh, you might be creating more buttons later, so uh, or an enum. Play and stop for now. I have two buttons, so this has to be actually uh, this has to derive a copy and clone. To be able to be passed as a message and uh, of course uh, sync and send so uh, message <coughs> and we'll say that button play emits takes the sender and the message play and button stop emit message Top and to handle events in the event loop, we'll say while app wait wrap, and we can match the uh, messages that are received. These are always uh, in the form of, uh, of an option, so uh, none would do nothing. And for the uh, sum. Uh, val will match the value itself, so match val and if it's uh, message play we can use the uh, message uh, where did it go what is I think uh, mvp play and wrap If it's message stop MDP play uh, stop. You can also add a slider, uh, as we said, the menu bar, uh, more buttons for rewind, etc. So uh, just keep this simple here. So uh, um, maybe uh, misspell something, play. So even the mouse isn't working correctly. <coughs> oh yeah. Sorry, forgot the message received. Okay, uh, 
ない。Okay, so this looks okay, and the video works. So this is just a video of an MRI, and uh, and if we stop, play, stop, but so you can notice uh, that the play and stop basically just uh, when we stop, uh, we uh, go back to the beginning of the window. Uh, you can actually, uh, I'm not sure if there's a pause uh, method. Uh, Oops. Here, um, <clears throat> so there's play. Hmm. So it's in the it's supposed to be in the media player. Uh, MDP play. Okay. So play, set pause, pause. Okay, so we can actually pause. Uh, okay, so uh, if we add, for example, a message, pause, DP pause. So I think this returns a uh, yeah. So now I'm mapping here, and it will add a uh, a new message was and a new button. <coughs> Let's use the copy uh, paste. So let's say pause. And here, if we move this a bit, uh, three. Go to sixty. Maybe twenty four hundred. Even maybe uh, two eighty. And this shifts, for example, forty. And four twenty. Let's see how this looks. Okay, I'll just move this a bit. Uh, it's a sexy. It's uh, four fifty, four or five forty. We can actually create a path just to uh, manage the uh, coordinates of these instead of having to pass the uh, x and y coordinates uh, automatically, uh, manually, sorry. So, uh, so, then we pause, commit, yes, search, pause. Okay, play, pause, stop. Good. So uh, that was basically it for the uh, tutorial. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, hope to see you. Uh, I hope, hopefully, I'll be creating more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.